Hey everyone, this is your regular host Sky on the Technizer. In this video, I'm going to show you some amazing Gmail tips and tricks you have never heard of. So stay tuned because the following tricks are going to make your life a lot easier. I noticed this while composing an email one day. So suppose I'm sending an email to myself in this case. I wrote the following words, I am attaching. but forgot to attach a file and proceeded to send a mail. As I clicked the send button, this error message flashed, which says, you wrote I am attaching in your message, but there are no attached files. Send anyway. Now, this is the beauty of Google. It has detected that although you have written I am attaching, you haven't attached any files here. Isn't it awesome? Every Gmail user has two email address. For example, if you have Gmail ID xyzmail.456 at gmail.com, the second one will be xyzmail.456 at googlemail.com. Now, this is useful for opening multiple accounts in a website or app. For example, in Redbus mobile app, if you are a new user, you will get a flat 100 rupees off on ticket booking. If you have already used your first email ID, you can still use xyzmail.456 at googlemail.com and take advantage of the offer. You will receive your ticket to your normal inbox itself. Now let me show you by doing it. Let's say now I will send my message to xyzmail.456 at googlemail.com instead of gmail.com you will see that I received the mail on my same email that is xyzmail.456 at gmail.com hence you can take advantage of two accounts from one email account thank me for saving your time from creating a new email account the dots in the gmail id doesn't matter let's say your gmail id is again xyzmail.456 at gmail.com then if somebody is sending an email to xyz.mail456 at gmail.com then the email will be delivered to xyzmail.456 at gmail.com itself. Now let's try this. I will send the email in this case to xyz.mail456 at gmail.com you will see that I still receive the same email at my original email address Say your email ID is xyzmail.456 at gmail.com Then if you add any letters after your name by adding plus symbol the emails will be delivered to xyzmail.456 at gmail.com itself 
This is a nice trick when you are registering in a suspicious website. Some websites will sell your email IDs for money and the buyer will spam advertisements to your inbox. Say HTTP random website dot com is a suspicious website and you want to register in it for some reason while registering give your email id as xyz mail dot 456 plus random website at gmail dot com now give your email id as mentioned here replacing the random website word with the website's name the emails from the website will be delivered to your original email address itself and you can simply filter out the message from this website by typing xyz mail dot four five six plus random website at gmail dot com in this in your search box over here also if you find that the spam mail have the recipient email id as xyz mail dot four five six plus random website at gmail dot com then it means that the random website has sold your email id to open unread emails just type is colon unread in the search box Now doing this will show you all the unread emails you have in your mailbox. You can also open is colon read for opening the read emails in your mailbox. Is colon chat for opening your chats or muted for opening muted conversations. If you want to open Android emails from inbox only, then type is colon unread label inbox. For other labels, just use label spam or label chats, etc and you can combine the keywords according to your use so that is it everyone hope you liked it please give a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already thank you for watching